I did some relief crew work here and there through the winter and bought myself a 20-foot locally built... Well, it was built for bass fishing, really, but I I used it for pots. I worked 60 pots around the shore, hauling by hand, like. And um, through the winters, I'd be rent a crew, as they called it, rent a crew. Chuckle Neil Viles was the first chap I worked for. And it was the first year I'd left school... Neil and Barney had organised that we'd all go out on the Francis, do the Francis' pots, and then go off and do our pots. We happened to run by this, um, fairly close to this coaster. In those days, if you held up crab, you know, they, they'd either just ignore you, or they'd get proper excited. And, you know, you could do a little barter, so, like a basket half full of crabs, they'd be over the moon and chuck a conger in there, and you know, whatever, a few bits of bait, <laughs> anything, really. I mean, we couldn't speak their language, they couldn't speak ours, but, you know, we kind of relied on them to give us something in return. So back came the basket with, you know, packs of cigarettes and two bottles of brandy. And when we finished the gear on the way, I got the boat all cleaned up, Somebody took the top off one of the bottles. By the time we got back to Salkham, both bottles had been drunk. And I mean, I was young. I first ever drinking experience. I was completely wrecked. We got in on the bar and there was these canoeists and they were in trouble. They were upside down. They, it was a rough day, you know. And we had, to, we had to go and rescue these people. We got up to the moorings and of course we were heroes, you know. We'd saved these people. I don't remember coming ashore, but I do remember sitting on White Strand Wall, which is where we all used to sit, and a police car came along. Somebody must have told him that I was pissed, because he said, right, in the car, he took me home. <laughs> I remember we were in one of the pubs, this chap came up and talked to us. He asked us if we were fishing, we said, yeah, but he said, whereabouts? sort of 20 mile north of Alderney or whatever it was. And he said, um, would you mind taking some pigeons with you? Pardon? <laughs> well, he said, I've got these racing pigeons and I'd like them to have a test, if you like, you know. So we said, yeah, well, all right then, I suppose. So he came down with this big basket thing with a lid on it with these poor little pigeons in there. So we plonked this thing on the deck overnight and we left about 5 30 in the morning i suppose and it was a right rough day it was horrible and these poor pigeons in this basket behind the wheelers they were sliding from sort of one side of the boat to the other <laughs> a lot of spray flying so i took them from off the deck and put them as best i could in the wheelers well, anyway, we got out to 20 miles, we got to the gear and opened the lid up and these things flew off and we saw the chap that night and he was over the moon, you know, it was wonderful. <laughs>